Hey, what's up guys? John from Linkswell. We have had a uh, request numerous times since we've released that Gen 6 and the XL radio. People asking how to change that background image. So that's what we're talking about today on a nice rainy day here in SoCal. We're gonna be talking about how to change your background image on your Gen 6 or XLT style. So let's do it. All right, guys, one of the cool features that we added with our Gen 6 and our XLs, we kind of changed our UI. Every generation prior to this, just for an explanation, we created our own UI trying to look factory. We made our radios look like they belonged in the car, so we made our UI look like it belonged in the car. Well, now that we've kind of shifted and more folks are looking for something a little bit more aftermarket looking, we've decided to change up and meet that demand and so our new UI on the XL and the Gen 6 gives you things like other launchers did where you're able to uh, add widgets to the home page make your home page look how you want it to move uh, icons around and one of the big things people like to do obviously change the background now because our launcher is kind of locked in we don't have an option to do it uh, internally quite yet there are some cool updates coming I don't want to ruin it uh, but when we do launch that new UI, I'll let you know we're going to have all kinds of like multi-finger swipes and things. Uh, but that is coming, just not yet. But in the meantime, we're going to talk about how to change that background image. So we're going to do two different ways. One way is going to be just a standard image, meaning you have a picture of your vehicle, your family, your dog, mountains, whatever it happens to be that you want to be the background. We're going to talk about how to make that. And then there's also the option of using TikTok and TikTok uh, live background uh, wallpaper and we'll be able to do uh, a live wallpaper so this video will be cut into two parts first thing we're going to talk about is making your own image um, and so you're going to need a usb drive something like this you're going to need whatever image you want now if you're running a gen 6 your image size needs to be 768 by 1024 if you do not format the image correctly it's going to warp it's going to zoom it's going to look all funky so you're going to need some sort of program that you're going to be able to dictate what size this image is and then get your image in there and export it as a PNG or a JPEG. Uh, if you're running an Excel, you're gonna need a 1080 by 1920. So I'll put the, both those sizes down here on the image. Uh, but once you've got that image uh, cropped and downloaded onto your USB, you're gonna take it out to your vehicle. You're gonna plug that USB into whatever USB input you wanna use. And then you're gonna have to install an app. Now I know I kind of give the explanation on the UI. Uh, Nova Launcher is going to be the easiest way to do this, guys. I know we should have it internally, but like I said, we got new stuff coming. We're not releasing like a half fix. We're going to do a whole new UI. There's a whole lot of a whole lot of smart guys doing smart things. But in the meantime, what you're going to do, go to Google Play Store, download Nova Launcher. It's a free download. Uh, we actually used to preload Nova Launcher on our previous generation, so a lot of you guys probably already know uh, Nova Launcher, but it looks like this right here, Nova 7. Download that. Once it's installed, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put that USB into the radio, get to the home page, and then just push and hold somewhere on the home screen. And then it's going to pop up an option. And you're going to say wallpapers. And then here it's going to ask you what you want to use to do that. For us, we're going to use Nova 7. We're going to say just once because later on we're going to want to talk about doing live backgrounds. And now once we're on this setup here, you can see uh, down here at the options, you've got some preset uh, backgrounds that Nova offers, or we can pick an image. And then once we've selected pick an image, here's where we're going to go looking for uh, the image we want. So this is going to look just like your file manager. So we're going to click that right there. You see that John's USB. We're going to open that up and we're going to find the one we want. So I got this cool photo here uh, from a photo shoot we did with Nito uh, after SEMA. So pretty cool photo. So that's the one we're going to set for our new wallpaper. It's selected. I'm going to hit up here, hit set wallpaper. I'm going to set it for home and lock screen. And bam, that's it guys. <laughs> that's how simple it is to change your background. So now our background image is the image we uploaded. That's it, bing, bang, boom. Make sure you get it formatted the right size, get it on a USB, download Nova Launcher, and it's that easy to change uh, the background with a standard image. If that's all you're after, cool, have fun, get a good photo of your vehicle, get a photo of your vehicle, your, or your, your family, your dog, whatever it happens to be, enjoy it. You know what, if you post it, tag us, I love restoring. Uh, but if you're looking to do a live background, live background is coming up now.
All right, guys, now we're gonna talk about how to do a live wallpaper. Now, there's a few different ways to do this. I'm gonna show you how to do it, kind of the easiest way I found, and that's using TikTok. Um, so you're gonna wanna download two apps, like for a standard video you had to, or a uh, photo you had to download Nova. For the live, you're gonna download TikTok and TikTok video wallpaper. So once you've downloaded those two apps, you should see them in your, uh, in your app list there. So get in there, log into uh, whatever TikTok account you have, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna find the video you want. So let me go ahead, uh, we're just on our TikTok here. If you don't follow us, you should. I mean, I don't make all that cool stuff, but sometimes we post. Anyways, so this is gonna be a video here I made uh, when we were out playing around with our Jeep. And uh, so we're gonna select that video and then down here on the right-hand corner, you should see those three dots. Uh, we're gonna tap those three dots and then it's gonna bring up all these kind of settings down here at the bottom. Swipe the bottom row here and you're gonna see where it says set as wallpaper. So we're gonna select that. It's gonna to start to download that video. Uh, give me a second here. I might be speeding up the video depending on how fast my service is here. Uh, looks like my service is quite slow in front of the building. So fast forward now. Boom, there it is, downloaded. That was so fast. Anyway, so now that you see it downloaded, the video is starting to play back there. You have the little option down there that says set as wallpaper. So we're gonna select uh, set as wallpaper. It's gonna pop open and let us see what it's gonna look like. We're gonna say set wallpaper. Same thing as the uh, photo. We're gonna say home screen, lock screen. And now when we hit home, now our background isn't just an image, it's a live background. Now, uh, there are guys out there doing all kinds of like, you can do the matrix thing. You can do all kinds of different live backgrounds. Um, and then once you've downloaded, just a cool thing. So if you go through, then you wanna like kind of uh, constantly change your background, do different live backgrounds. Uh, every time you've downloaded them, it's gonna stay on the radio. Uh, so the next time when you wanna go and change it, you can actually open up just the TikTok live wallpapers and you can change it from inside that app. It just has to download through you, uh, TikTok first. But that's what you got going on, guys. That's how you can customize your background on your Gen 6 and your XL, as simple as getting an image and a couple apps. There it is. Guys, keep asking. I made it. It's raining. Here we go. We'll see you next time.